It is Real Betis nil, Manchester United 1, Manchester United knocking that Betis 5-1 on aggregates after a comfortable, comfortable afternoon, late afternoon at Seville in Real Betis at their stadium with a goal from our guy Sir Marcus Rashford. Manchester United through to the quarterfinals, as I said before, keep marching on to get their second trophy of the season. We keep marching on, trying to get our second and our third trophy of the season. But again, today, today was a game where Manchester United need to just see out a game for the 90 minutes. And it would have been okay. You know, if he was to draw, it would be okay because we are through. We got to the likes of those who came on as well, made some made an effort. For those who started today as well, they also made an effort. In terms of today's game, in terms of the start overall, the first 45 minutes for Manchester United. Of course, Rabbity started off lively, trying to get us. But we all knew as soon as they get all their energy out in the first 10, 15 minutes, Manchester United will start dictating and be in control of the game. Manchester United was always in control of the game throughout the first half. Especially in the first half. There were at time plus the 30 minutes were kept Batiste in their own half. There were some few scares as well because you know me, I am always nervous when Maguire is playing in the back. And at the first half, especially in the first half, the first 20 minutes, I saw Maguire running back for his life and I was thinking, oh, we're going to concede. But our boy David De Gea came to save us. In the second half now, Manchester United got that goal. That goal coming from Marcus Rashford. Long reach, as you saw it, Marcus Rashford got ready shot back back of the net marcus rashford and you already know like rashford as always his 27th goal of the season this guy is going to get 30 goals in this season i truly believe it marcus rashford is on fire and the fire will not stop it's basically the fire in london bridge you remember fire fire bridge london bridge is falling down yes that is marcus rashford who ignited that who started that because that fire will never die down Big up to Marcus Rashford for the goal as well. Likewise, in terms of the second half, back to that. Manchester United, of course, cruised control throughout the second half. Real Betis didn't cause a problem in that second half. You know, I could not remember what Real Betis did. More importantly, it's just great to see Manchester United through again. You know, through to the quarterfinals. Another quarterfinals for Manchester United. It was full-time nil Real Betis, nil Manchester United won. And of course, with regard to the players, they, I, I thought Bruno Fernandes had a quiet game, you know. At times, he was doing silly things, typical Bruno Fernandes stuff. But he had a quiet game. He wasn't as effective as he's supposed to be, but he did come off very early. Marcus Rashford as well. Apart from the goal, there were opportunities as well for Rashford to get more than one goal. He scruffed it a couple of times. He had a good chance. What what goes as well? Oh my god. Um you know what? Yeah, this guy just can't get a goal, can't buy a goal too tough, man. Two goals since he's been here. And I uh, just sometimes he's slow. He's slow. That's the problem. Pelestri had his first game his first game to start for Manchester United, I mean. And he did well ninety minutes, you know. He was he was involved in the game, causing a bit of problem. He was causing a problem against the Batiste defence. Bizarre yellow card that he got, which I, I can't believe the yellow card that he got. You know, sometimes the referee, I just I just don't know. Sometimes I feel like the referees in Europe against English team do the most to ensure that we don't prevail, we don't win at all. Like, we get booked for silly things while the other team gets away with it. Like, no wonder why Barcelona no, are being investigated for bribing referees. It makes sense, you know. Europe just don't like England because we Brexit it ourselves out of the situation. And, of course, like I said before, Pelesci doing well. Sancho coming on as well. Martinez doing what Martinez does. Casemiro, wonderful player. Done his thing. Fred, I think, was kind of terrible as well at times. Man of the match day for me, guys, has to go to Pelestri. Pelestri, just because of played at 90 minutes and done so well. Yeah, man. Don't keep the match day for me. has to go to Wild Workhouse and Fred. I, I thought they were both crap as well. Manchester United fans, we keep marching on. And you know what? I'm just happy. We just keep winning. Winning, 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 winning and winning. I know we lost recently, but we continue to win. You know, we get the odd loss, but the most important thing, we get the W. And we, as always, we take it one game at a time. And I'm enjoying it. Through to the quarterfinals, I can't wait for who we get. Let's get Arsenal. I want Arsenal for some reason. So we can knock them out. 
But yeah, but let me not get too far ahead. Any team would be good. An easy team, please. An easy route to the final. That's what we all want. Big up to everyone else. This has been your match rusher from your boy, Ivor and Spice. Let me know what your thoughts on today's game. Let me know who your, was your man in the match, who was your donkey of the match as well. And again, your thoughts on your game. As always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share across all social media platforms and press that notification bell so you can be the first one to see anything that comes out of Red United TV's YouTube channel. As always, guys, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready now because your boy is out. Peace.